I'm going to demonstrate a Model A emergency shutdown valve. The purpose of this valve is to pre prevent excess wellhead pressure uh, from reaching the transmission line. So we have natural gas coming through this valve. It has a full ported opening. The valve is in the open condition. It's held open by this pin. The pin is being given an axial force from the flowing pressure acting on the area of the stem of the piston. I will now put pressure on the system. The set pressure, notice it takes up the slack the minute there's any pressure in there. I'm increasing the pressure. This is the flowing pressure going through it. It's giving an axial force on that pin. When it reaches set point, the pin will buckle and the valve will instantly close, bubble tight, and this is what we'll demonstrate. You have something with excellent accuracy. You noticed that the pin buckled. It went to a, a closed position almost instantly. Uh, the pressure on the upstream side is increasing, but you can see there's no increase in this pressure on the top chamber. In order to change the pressure, I, or in order to change the pin, I have to isolate this valve, shut off the pressure, bleed the pressure off of the valve itself. And then I change it by taking off the adjusting or the holding nut, pushing the piston to an open condition. Here's the typical structure of a buckling pin when, it's, when the axial force is at set point. I take another pin, put it in, I close the bypass Notice I only had to open up the bypass on the lower because the minute this pressure drops, automatically the pressure pushes it to an open condition in this top chamber. I wanted you to notice the accuracy of the valve, the utter simplicity, only one moving part, and the ease of changing out the pin and getting back in operation.